The role played by our next Indigo, the governor's Igbo politicians, that clearly shows that the majority of our the fortress of the Igbo people. For the leader of Oanese, the president of Oanese in Igbo, in a word to come out to say that Biafrans, Igbo, do not want to go to war. Did Igbo go to war in the first place? War was imposed on us by those who took our freedom away from us. The Aburi Accord was very clear. The violators of the Aburi Accord are the people who imposed war on us, and we have no other alternative than to defend ourselves. It is these same leaders, as is very apparent, that truncated the first Biafran struggle, the first Biafran war of liberation. And it's so sad that these leaders are still around, taking position and continue in their sabotage, putting bumpers on the way of our freedom. I, I asked, how do you feel as evil leaders, as evil political elites, how do you feel? How do you feel when Ango Abdullahi talks? How do you feel when that big meet? That half man, Erufai, talks. How do you really feel? You feel happy with yourself. You are comfortable with yourself. That you denigrate your people. You sell the struggle of your people. You run away when you are supposed to stand. Do they have more than one life? And you just have one. Are they casted in iron and you are mere flesh? These are questions we have to answer. Inam Dekano has done his own. There is none of us today that has done as much as what Inam Dekano has done in promoting the cause of our people. For every woman being, we have our own flaws. Dr. Basara has his own flaws. All other women being have their own flaws. So Inam Dekano will also have his own flaws. But what he has achieved for Biafra, for the independence, of Biafra for the freedom of the Eagles had far, far, far surpassed whatever anybody has done in living memory. And that's the truth of the matter. Like him or hate him, that's the truth. Enam the Kano has done what a lot of people cannot do. We should ask ourselves. You are asking for restructuring. They say no. So where are you going to go? How are you going to talk to them? How are you going to talk to them to change their mind? You cannot. That Igbo leaders went to visit the son of Osman Gansodio and they sat on the ground while he was sitting on the chair. When normally Muslims, as Muslims, we normally sit on the ground, on the carpet, but he was sitting on the chair. Why it is normal for him was to sit on the chair? He sat on the ground. Why the son of Osman was sitting 
on a, a throne how do you see yourself and that's why your christian bible says i saw servants riding on horseback and princes walking on foot you people have not done anything to encourage our people to give us courage to fight and to break ourselves you want to be quit this no class citizen read to your children and to our children we say nay 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 we are on the irreversible path to Biafra independence whether you like it or not.